One of the greatest of all of the legendary Soviet male gymnasts in the 1950s was Viktor Chukarin. He was born on November 9, 1921, and he became interested in gymnastics after watching a display in a national parade. His gift for gymnastics was evident as he achieved Master of Sports status at the young age of 19. When World War II broke out, Chukarin's promising career was put on hold. Chukarin became a prisoner of war in Germany, and he spent four years in a concentration camp in San Bostel. He escaped death and returned home to Ukraine at the end of the war in 1945. Chukarin began training in gymnastics again and in 1948 he became the Soviet national champion. At the age of 30 he competed in the 1952 Olympics in Helsinki where he won four gold medals team, all-around, pommel horse and vault as well as two silver medals on rings and parallel bars. Two years later he led the Soviets to their first world championships team gold medal in Rome where he also earned the individual all-around gold and pommel horse bronze. At the 1956 Olympics in Melbourne, Australia, when he was 35 years old, Chukarin earned three more gold medals in the team, all around, and parallel bars. He also earned the silver on floor exercise and the bronze on the pommel horse. A remarkable 11 medals in just two Olympics. In 1957, along with International Gymnastics Hall of Fame member Larissa Latinina, Chukarin was awarded the first Order of Lenin ever presented to an athlete. After his years as a champion gymnast, Chukarin continued his popularity by appearing on TV shows to promote the benefits of fitness for all. He became a successful coach and passed along his gymnastics knowledge to the next generation. Chukarin passed away on August 25, 1984 at the age of 72. This beautiful bronze sculpture in his honor in Kiev reminds all of Chukarin's legendary status. Today, Viktor Chukarin takes his rightful place in the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame in the class of 2009.